All right, my friends, how are you all doing? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to a fresh episode of our Planet Zoo series, Highland Zoo. Um, last episode is above, my friends. Linky, linky, go check it out. It was the ostrich and the warthogs. Um, I will put a little spoiler out there. It's very much unfinished. Um, well, the habitat is finished, but the surrounding area isn't finished. So do prepare yourself for it to look a little bit bare, but nothing's going to look as bare as today's episode when we get to... To the live section. Um, this is a bit of a strange one. Um, this is going to be a two-parter, basically. Um, we begin today making the hard shelter for the elephants and the rhinos. Yes, the Indian elephant and the Indian rhino are going to be housed in one building. Um, th this idea was brought to me by one of my viewers, and I actually really appreciate the idea because um, I run wild with it, and I, I, and I think that the building that we come up with at the end, the shape, the look of it, it's very, very unique, and um, I'm in love with it. And I actually think this is one of my best builds to date. Now, I am going to spoil it ever so slightly. Um, it isn't finished, so you do have to, you know, when we get to the live section, approach it with an open mind. Um, a lot of things happened during the course of me trying to get this build done. Uh, the phone went, the door went, I had visitors, wife came home from work, spent some time with her, um, had to take the dogs out just loads of stuff went on basically during the course of me trying to get this build done so it's very much stop start and um the editing kind of uh, shows you that just how stop start it was i had a few moments as well during the course of the build where some confusion set in where i just wasn't quite sure how i was going to go about doing certain things and you'll probably notice that as well you, you'll probably see the cogs going around in my head as uh, as the build goes along but with all that said it does turn out very, very nice. And even though when we get to the live section, it's very much just sort of like a black and white building, it isn't going to remain a black and white building. Um, it is going to change. We are going to add some color. We are going to add some detail. Um, and it is going to look very, very nice by the time that it's finished. I have this idea of using paneling on certain walls, decorating some parts, leaving others. I want all the interior to be very realistic on this. Um... You know, I want to start doing sort of like electrical cables. I want to start doing venting. And I think with a big building like this, you've got the space to do it. So it is a lot more forgiving when you're trying to do these sorts of things. And so obviously there's all these little things and all these little details that do get sort of touched upon in today's episode. But the stuff isn't quite finished. This is going to be a very, very long episode as well. So do strap in. It's going to take a while, my friends. But if you're a fan of the series and you're a fan of the channel, I am sure you will not mind that. Um, so. So obviously these animals have been requested for a long long time and I always said that the Indian elephants were always going to be pretty much like a centerpiece of the zoo. You know, they're on the logo that we made in sort of like episode two or three for Highland Zoo. And so, yeah, we really wanted them to be a centerpiece. And that's why I've left it so long. But I kind of reached a, I've reached the stage with the build where um, the smaller habitats are just not ready to be built um, we, we we've not spaced our areas um for stuff like that um the lions and the giraffe uh, enclosures are still very much sort of like a work in progress um the lion um hard shelter has you know basically changed um numerous times when i've been trying to do blueprints and trying to work out exactly how i want to build it um and uh, and it's kind of changed the placement where i want to put it as well um so yeah I, i'm still not ready to go in there the giraffe is very much similar i'm still blueprinting the hard shelter for them because i have found some source material that uh, i've been inspired by um so yeah, I decided that how about we revisit Asia and actually how about we finally get some of these marquee animals down in the zoo and I think the Indian rhino and the Indian elephant are definitely, definitely going to be that, uh, my friends. Now, as I've already sort of touched upon, this was inspired by a viewer. Now, one of the viewers left a comment and said, um, when you get round to doing your sort of Asian elephants and uh, rhinos, why don't you check out uh, Columbus Zoo's um, Land of the Giants hard shelter? Um, based Basically, what they do is they house the elephants and the rhinos in one enclosure, and the elephant side actually has a viewing area that people can go in uh, and they get to view some of the elephants that are inside, or you know, when the elephants have babies, they keep them inside for a little while and stuff like that. And I thought this is an amazing idea. Now, I didn't want to copy the Columbus Zoo's habitat. One of the big reasons I didn't want to copy it is it's basically three rectangles together and then the facility is all done sort of inside. And I think that the zoo is so very sort of 
boxy where a lot of the uh, enclosures are concerned because it's very easy to make a stable you know in a rectangle shape it's very easy to make an enclosure in a square obviously where the uh, monkeys uh, you know and where the gorillas and stuff are concerned we've definitely you know have tried to avoid doing that with the, the buildings are very very unique but it is very easy to get into that and so I wanted to do something a little bit different and so um, that's why I've basically come up with this idea but the idea of housing the elephants and the rhinos together obviously in separate things but their hardship was all in one building really i thought was a fantastic idea one it's a big space saver and two there's two exhibits that are very close together and it becomes like a big sort of experience once again now that was one thing that we tried to create at the beginning of this build was we wanted each of the enclosures and the exhibits to be more of an experience especially the marquee animals we achieved it with the gorillas and now i hope we're going to be able to achieve it with the elephants and the rhino so essentially what you're seeing at the minute is sort of like a a, a piece at the front where uh, the piece in the middle is going to be where the guests are going to be able to walk in uh, and do a loop essentially inside the building they're going to be able to see the rhinos on one side they're going to be able to see the elephants on one side should they be inside but also it's going to be a very much an educational building as well uh, there's a piece that gets put in the middle I'm going to put loads of educational items up and, um, and a nice little seating area and it's just going to be a, a cool little experience for the guests to be able to go in uh, see the animals if they're inside and uh, be educated on you know what's happening to these animals in the wild and stuff like that obviously the indian rhino is a very very much endangered species as is the asian elephant um so you know this is it's a very very important sort of um very important building basically uh where the zoo is concerned especially as we head towards those conservation efforts um you'll see in the speed build at the minute we're just sort of doing the doorway um i i have to i had to go about this build very very differently i had to place things earlier than i ordinarily would because obviously the building is so vast as you can see already um how big the building is now the, the bigger side of the building is obviously going to be for the elephants the smaller side is for the rhinos because the elephants we can have quite a few of those um, to make up a herd I believe where the Indian rhinos are concerned though we can have two adults and young at any one time um, this bit that you see at the minute actually ends up getting deleted and changed because it completely messed up where I wanted to put the uh, entrance for the staff into the uh, into the um, habitat so yeah just take some take some of the speed build with a pinch of salt um you're also going to see there's a lot of chopping up where the speed build, build is concerned as well and it's because i had to keep going back deleting things redoing things uh, also there's lots of space where i just clearly when i was watching it back must have been sitting there um and uh, thinking about what to do next and it's so cringe when you watch these things back anyway but uh yeah it, it was just a difficult build and like i say so much went on while i was trying to get the build done as well um so it's one of the reasons why it's not finished it's one it's 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 definitely not the reason why it's going to be a two-parter this was always going to be a two-parter when i got around to doing these animals because of how i, I how i envision doing the habitats basically um and then obviously when people start saying to you take a look at this zoo take a look at that zoo this hard shell is unique look at the way they've done it then that it inspires you even more and so obviously the inspiration here is columbus zoo um and their sort of joint sort of uh, hard shell for the rhinos and the elephants and i and i love the bit with columbus zoo that guests can go inside and view the elephants from a viewing area uh, and that's something we'll definitely be uh will definitely be sort of like making the most of where our zoo is concerned and uh and hope and i'm hoping that like the guests end up using it because this is going to be sort almost like a, a a small sort of area and a small hub on itself um we're going to get to the live section i'm going to explain more when we get to that live section um because it'll be easier to show you what i'm planning but the building isn't in its final resting place um i've left it where it is because it's on the world axis at the minute and uh, for those that don't play the game if the building's on its world axis it makes it a lot easier to edit the minute you start moving and shifting its position uh, it, it, it becomes very difficult to straighten things up um and to get the editing right so i like to build things on the axis and then move it into its final place at the end um and obviously this isn't finished there's still a few details and bits and bobs that need to be done um and you're going to see that when we get to the live section as well anyway um because it is just it's just such 
such a big build. I wanted it to be unique, and I think that maybe I just overdid it a little bit, but I wanted to challenge myself. I feel like we're at a point now where we didn't just want the same old square structure. We wanted something a bit different, and especially for the marquee animals. I think that the big marquee animals in your zoo, you've got to go all out with their with their habitats. I think you've got to go all out with the way things look. I did it with the gorillas. Um, you, you, will remember, you will remember that build. Jesus, we, we, we ended up using about four different buildings and then pu pulling them all together to make the gorilla building. And I still, after, after tackling a few things where this is concerned, feel like I want to go back actually to that building and add some detail and add a few things that are not there at the minute and I, I really think it'll finish that off I think it'll make it look really really nice so uh, yeah watch this space um, I'm not sure if that'll be something that I do as, as part of an episode but um, it might be something that we take a look at in a sort of live section uh, very very soon now today is episode 25 ladies and gents so we are only five episodes away from our next zoo so far and um the way things have been going, I really think that the Zoo So Far episode is shaping up to be probably one of the best Zoo So, so Far episodes we're ever going to have where the series is concerned. I really, really do. Um, you know, the African area has been started. That's coming along nicely. We've added some more animals to that. Uh, we started doing some space work, um, you know, to try and separate areas up. Um, we're, we're introducing some big animals here where this is concerned. And then obviously there's going to be a lot of foliage work. Um, I want to put a big plaza out the front of this building to really separate it from the rest of the other buildings in and around it got to do a bit of spacing where the asian area is concerned anyway in the zoo I've, i'm making some changes which i'll talk about in the live section because it'll be easier to show you uh, as i talk about it so that you know exactly what areas that i'm on about um i've started thinking about finishing off tropical africa as well we've got one more animal that i want to place down to complete the tropical sort of african area and that is the chimpanzee and uh i think i know where i want to put it now um because that's changed because we obviously we, we had some spacing issues where the african area was concerned we wanted to really separate that from the rest of the zoo um so yeah we'll talk about all that when we get to the live section um my friends do keep commenting do keep letting me know what you make of the builds and keep letting me know the things you like and the things you don't like i, I noticed on last episode and it is what it is you know I, I really don't have a problem with it but noticed on last episode there was a couple of dislikes and I don't mind dislikes, I really, really don't, but what I'd, what I'd love is if you do dislike an episode and you are sort of like a regular subscriber or someone that views the series, leave me some constructive criticism in the comments. I, I really appreciate, I, like I really, I'm not one of these people, I don't throw my toys out my pram just because you don't like something uh, and because you criticise something, but what I really enjoy is when I get constructive criticism. Let me know why you didn't like it, because then when it comes to the next episode or when it comes to sort of fixing the problems, I know exactly what you what you wanted me to do or what you think was wrong um if you don't leave me that then I, I don't know what what it is um you know i haven't had many dislikes on this channel so obviously when i get one or two on a video i do really notice it and uh you know i got a couple on the last video i understand it probably wasn't the sort of episode everyone wanted to see um it was very much unfinished as well because uh, last week was really rushed as you all know um, our job interviews I had uh, we had another scan for our baby we got to hear the baby's heartbeat which is unbelievable um, so yeah we had that going on there was a lot of stuff basically going on my wife was on half term as well she's um, a teacher so she had the week off so we wanted to spend a bit of time together so um, yeah it was just one of those weeks and uh, obviously I think maybe the build was a little rushed and maybe that's what people didn't like about it but uh, yeah I just noticed that the views were down a little on that episode and uh, there was a couple of dislikes so you know feel free to come at me with some constructive criticism because like i like i've said unless i know what it is you didn't like i, I can't fix it um back to the speed build you're gonna see there's a lot of i mean an r in here moving stuff around some of this gets deleted it's ridiculous how I had this idea and I just didn't know how to achieve it and yet when I managed to do it it was so easy it was ridiculously easy um, basically this roof it, it goes lower than the roof on the rhino habitat but obviously you have to think about drainage and you have to think about the way water travels and so I had to make this sort of like drainage channel um, because of the way that the roof comes down but the way the roof on the rhino 
exhibit part goes all the way across. It, it makes sense when you see the finished article, but it that it didn't make too much sense when um, I was trying to put the windows in and trying to make these sort of like areas um, for the windows and stuff. Um, the one big problem that this does have, where the uh, that where the viewing area is concerned for the people, is light, natural light being able to penetrate. I've put windows in. I thought like I, I really felt like I'd put enough windows in as well. Um, you know, we put like four windows on one side and then we put four windows on the other side, but the light still isn't penetrating. So we're going to have to really heavily light the inside. Now, when we get to the lower section, we do take a look at the inside of the building very briefly. It is quite dark, but keep an open mind again because we are going to light that up. We just don't have any power to the building at the minute. So that some of the lights that have started to place, they don't come on anyway. So uh, yeah, it is what it is. The animals areas though, they lit up lovely. They really are lit up beautifully because of the way we do the windows on those. Uh, we've not quite we've not quite got to that, I don't think, yet. Um on this uh on this part of the speed build, but you're gonna see we put these lovely little skylights in, um, which don't sit flush to the roof. I'm gonna explain more about that as well in the live section. Yeah, it's just it's just one of those. It's a little embarrassing when you put an episode out and the building isn't hundred percent finished, but this was the only way I could do it so that we could get the so I could get something out to you guys because if I'd have carried on doing it until it was finished, the episode would have been well over an hour, almost an hour and 20 minutes long. And, and I'm not even joking. Um, this, this episode is probably going to be about 55 minutes long with the live section included, which is a very, very long episode. I think that might even be our longest episode yet. And uh, I'm very conscious of this. I like the episodes to be about between 35 and 45 minutes long but this is a huge build and it required so much detail and um it was just one of those things it really really was there was no way i could avoid it there's just no way at all i could avoid it so um that's why i've split it into two parts um we wouldn't have even got the whole thing finished in one part in under two hours i don't think um this build approximately took me uh four and a half five hours i think something like that but obviously i was stopping and starting that really messed with my groove so it's just one of those things you know i just i couldn't avoid it i really really couldn't avoid it um now where the series is concerned um I was trying to think about a sort of. I was trying to estimate how many episodes I think we've got left, and um, I really, I think maybe, I think forty episodes might be a nice thing to try and aim at. That might, that might not be enough. So don't freak out but that might not be you know the series isn't going to finish anytime soon at the end of the day even if we did 40 episodes that means there's another 15 episodes in this series because obviously we're only on 25 now um but 40 is kind of where i'm thinking i'm you know and i'm aiming obviously i've got other projects that i want to maybe start getting going um Obviously, the Chester Zoo project was one that um, I've been teasing for a while. We were going to do a, a, a sort of... A, um, we were going to... Oh, God, what is the word that I'm looking for? I don't know. I can't think of it. But, yeah, basically, we were going to um, build um, Chester Zoo using Planet Zoo. Um, uh, whether or not we're going to be able to do that, though, is, uh, is another thing. I've started doing some research on Chester Zoo. Now, they have so many species that we don't have on planet zoo um that was something we always knew was going to be the case but the other thing as well is just um there's not enough that i can't find enough um material of the entrance for a start i can find photos of the front of the building and i can find some photos of the back but i can't find any photos where it shows me the complete layout of how the entrance uh, is so i can't even get it started because that's where you need to start is with the entrance and i just can't find it i've tried using google maps and it just doesn't make sense um it, i just can't find a clear enough image of it all um to be get to, to get that started basically chester zoo is the zoo that i've picked um and i am definitely going to do that but 
Another project that I was thinking about is I went online and I was just intrigued at a few things and I put in the world's smallest zoo and I found this zoo that's in the States that is only five acres um, but it's got a tiger, it's got a red panda, it's got some uh, you know some reptiles, it has got some animals that we don't have in the game so we would have to use our imagination but if I can find enough source material on that would you be interested in seeing me rebuild the world's smallest zoo now i actually think it could be a great mini series i think that it could probably be done in sort of two or three episodes um, and we could do it slightly differently as well we could do it so that they are long episodes we could do our long episodes and potentially we could do a speed build section and then we could do half of the episode where we actually build parts together i think that might be something to visit because I love this series. This is an amazing series. I am I'm, I'm by no means getting burnt out or bored of it, but I do feel like the channel's at a stage now where we could do with just throwing a few little mini things out there. Um, you know, I, I did say that I was thinking about doing some like um, habitat reconstruction where we uh, where we take a habitat from around the world and just build that habitat and see uh, see if we can build it in the game. But uh, yeah, there's just loads of little things that I'm thinking about. Obviously, Franchise Zoo is something that keeps getting thrown at me as well um, by you guys. And uh, it is definitely something I'm thinking about. But uh, the, the problem with the Franchise Zoo is that, again, it's going to be like this. We're just going to be starting from scratch again. And I think that the Franchise Zoo episodes would be longer episodes. And uh, it's, it's time. Time is a big thing. Obviously, if I'm putting in a lot of time where this series is concerned, as well as the other channel and, uh, and other little things, I, I'm just not sure if I've got the time to do a Franchise Zoo as well. So that's why I'm thinking about just doing mini projects and like a little mini series um, to sort of like go alongside this one um so yeah i've got ideas of things i want maybe you guys could let me know in the comment section ideas of things that you would like to see end of the day you're not the ones that watch the uh watch the material that i put out so you know feel free to you know leave me your ideas in the comment section my friends because that's what it was built for um Speed build, uh, you're going to see we're faffing about with roof pieces now. Um, this bit of the roof is just so bloody unique and I had to use all the pieces at my disposal to get it exactly how I wanted it and um, we, we chop and change but it gets there eventually, trust me. I actually think the, the roof is a thing of beauty when we get to the live section. I really, really love the way that this roof works with um, the bits on the side. It curves at the top and uh, it's a nice sort of steep uh you know at the back of the building is just it's just such a different shape and uh yeah the the, sh the actual shape of this um the, the shape of this building um the front of it anyway was actually inspired by i can't remember the content creator's name now but he's doing a fantastic series called beryl zoo the zoo was actually brought to my attention by one of you guys you actually left a comment and said you need to go and check out his reptile house now his reptile house is on another level i mean like it puts mine to shame and i thought my reptile house was amazing um i actually wanted to go and delete mine after looking at his but mine just needs reworking um because obviously he has more space with the story of the zoo that he's got than we have but yeah he's just done an addition to the reptile zoo which is like houses the crocodiles it's like an indoor crocodile house and uh, the front of the front of the building is just uh, basically like a small version of what um i've done with that concrete and so it kind of like i was thinking to myself what if we did an entire building that shape with the roof and see how it works and so yeah i haven't copied him it's just inspired by just an amazing idea that another sort of Planet Zoo content creator um, has come up with. Um, he got a shout out from Rudy recently, and I think his sub box has gone a little insane um, from what I could gather from the last episode um, of the series I was watching. Um, but yeah, that, that that is a fantastic build. Um, let me know in the comment section, by the way, um, builds that you're watching where Planet Zoo is concerned. Um, because um, as much as I am a content creator and I am playing the game and creating content myself, I love watching YouTube and uh, I like, I, I, and especially love watching 
um, the Planet Zoo stuff because, like I just say, it inspires you. It gives you ideas, and they might do it. They they want to do something that you didn't realise that you could do, and so then you learn a new technique. And uh, yeah, so let me know the series that you guys are watching, uh, and uh, I'd love to check them out, especially if I haven't heard of them. Um, like for instance, I hadn't heard anything about Beryl Zoo, but someone left a comment said I need to check it out, and I was so glad I did because it's an unbelievable series. Um, I am, of course, watching Kowali Zoo um, because that's just an unbelievable project by four of the best creators where this sort of thing's concerned. Um, Sylve's architecture, unbelievable. And then you've got Mike, um, you know, he, he's, I think... I think by trade in real life he is a landscaper and so obviously his foliage work in the game is just on another level he started creating like custom trees and stuff it's just ridiculously good and then obviously you throw in uh, the ladies Ina and Rudy with um, their building styles and their you know ability to put the habitats together it's just a fantastic series um, what other series am I watching at the minute I was watching um, the ladies uh, City Zoo, she started a new one. Um, I think that's really, really cool, but I wasn't a big fan of the space for the lions and the, um, I think it's lions and hyenas, but still a great build and still very unique as well, um, which is always something that um, is uh, is great. So yeah, I'm, I love watching the content as much as I do making it. So my friends in that comment section, let me know stuff you're watching. But do you know what? Um, I'm go I think I'm going to leave you with the rest of the speed build. I think there's 20 minutes of the speed build left. Someone asked me to start letting them know exactly how long was left after I stopped talking. I think there's just under 20 minutes left. Um, I believe that the speed build finishes around about the 45, 46 minute mark. So um, that's when we will be back for the live section, my friends. So enjoy the rest of the speed build. It's a lengthy one, but you'll see this beautiful building come together. And uh, I'll see you real soon in the live section of today's episode.
So my friends, here we are in the live section of today's episode. Um, now, obviously I said it in the speed build, this is very much an unfinished project. This is part one of it. Um, so, you know, to try to be kind where the dislikes are concerned. Um, it was just a very complex build and uh, yeah, it is very much unfinished, but I wanted to do a live section mainly to just kind of talk to you about what I'm feeling about detailing, uh, the things that I want to add to it, and also some stuff that I might possibly do where this is concerned off camera so that when we come back next episode, it is more about sort of the habitat builds and getting all the paths in and getting all the foliage and making it look pretty, basically. Because um, at the moment, it is very much just a concrete building with a black, very black roof, and it just, yeah... It doesn't look that amazing at the minute. And, uh, you know, I was a bit worried about putting the episode out. The thumbnail doesn't really sell it. But, you know, as I said in the speed build, time was an issue. Lots was going on. And this took very, very long. Um, so it was just one of those things. So, uh, yeah, one of the things I'm really thinking about doing is some panelling on the roof. Just to kind of take away that white. Uh, a little bit. So what I was thinking about doing was using these um, edging edge pieces again, and I might potentially just take the wood up around the windows and then leave some bits, um, you know, bare. But maybe we could use some colour. Maybe we could use some like panelling like this and put that inside, um, just to kind of try to liven the sort of roof pieces up a little bit. Um, and try to bring them up to sort of match this. Something else I'm thinking of doing as well is injecting a bit of colour on this back piece here by adding some detailing and stuff. Um, also, you might have been wondering what this is. This is eventually going to be sort of air vents and stuff. This is something I've realised I need to go back and do on a lot of the big, um, a lot of the big sort of uh, shelters and the, the houses for the animals and stuff. The gorilla house is one I'm thinking of, uh, especially now. I know that there is a really good pack for this on uh, on the Steam Workshop, but I thought I would give it a go myself, and actually, it's not that bad. I'm quite happy with it. All this sort of piping is all for sort of like electrics and stuff. Uh, I started doing some in here as well. Uh, you will see it all above there, and uh, I started, you know, making these sort of like ventilation things as well. So yeah, I just kind of want to have a go myself. I really, you know, I've invested a lot of time in this project, and so really, I want to kind of see it out uh, on its own. Now, um, this side is going to be for the rhino, and this side is going to be for the elephants, ladies and gents. Now, there's two entrances. Um, I probably said this in the in the speed build section, but I've completely lost of what I lost track of what I was saying. Uh, there's two entrances because the uh, male animal for both species can uh, has to be separated from time to time. Um, you know, from uh, from the females. So uh, yeah, that's why we're doing that. Also, I'm probably going to be putting in a door here. So if we need to get the elephants out of the enclosure, we can with ease. And what I'm going to do this side is probably have a separate sort of like um, a separate way that the you can go from the mouse side. So if they need to be taken out as well, because obviously animals this big would have to be taken out, you know, in big containers on lorries and stuff like that. So we need that access. This is the staff side uh, of the building, ladies and gents. Obviously, we've got this here. I am going to be putting in some pow a power unit and a staff center. Uh, this is going to almost be like a hub in itself because it is such a large building um, and then this side is going to be the entrance for uh, the guests and uh, basically I've left it like this because at the moment it's on the world axis which makes the making the building a lot easier especially when it comes to the detailing but it will eventually be rotated ever so slightly so that the entrance will face the path and what I'm going to do is this path here is going to have a section that's going to come off and it's going to wind up and around and so there's going to be multiple ways that you can view the rhinos and it's going to come up and it's going to be almost like a plaza -y section at the front we're going to do a load of planting to sort of disguise the front and really make it its own sort of exhibit its own sort of attraction um, uh, because it is a very big building and then the path for the elephants is going to come up and around as well. Now, obviously, we're going to have the staff uh, exits out the back uh, here. What I'm thinking of doing is um, having those exits um, go out, and we might I might tunnel underneath so that we still maintain a loop where the path's concerned. Um, someone brought this up in a comment, and it is very, very true that um, guests don't like to go to dead ends and have nowhere to go. So if we was to take this around for the rhino, 
it would essentially come to a bit of a dead end and the thing is the rhino enclosure is going to be sort of all in here anyway so that's what i'm thinking of doing is taking the path up and around and we tunnel underneath um and and do it that way because I was going to sink this down, but I, instead I'm going to leave this at the level it is, and I'm just going to sink the habitats down. I think that's the best way to do it. All, all will make sense next episode when we build that, and it is going to be in a couple of days. Um, you know, at the time of recording this live sec uh, live section, I I've got a bit of free time, and I am going to crack on with this build and try to sort of tie up some loose uh, edges and stuff. And then the elephants is going to be over the other side. So yeah, you sort of just have to imagine this this slightly rotated, a big sort a plaza area in front of it it's going to have its own sort of path system that's going to wrap all the way around and it's going to join up to the main path as well um yeah and so next episode is when we will introduce the animals so yeah we're going to continue all this sort of trim we're going to go all around the edges try to do all that these bottom sections um, are going to be facing the guests obviously because this is the way that you, the guests are going to walk up so all of this front section is going to be detailed as well I will see how I am for time next episode, but I may detail this off camera along with the roof as well. Um, but maybe the interior we could save. So, uh, you know, you'd be able to go, you go through the door. This is where you'd see the rhinos. Obviously, all this in here has to be detailed. Uh, this, what I've got in vision for this is where we do all of the education. Uh, we stick it all sort of on this wall. We'll decorate the wall up. And then we walk up here. There's another sort of section here. I'm, I'm planning to add sort of like a couple of chairs, a bin and some plants and stuff back here um, and then we come around the elephant to this side uh, this here there's going to be loads of lights and uh, we'll do the same this side for the elephants and then you would walk out and then you can go and see the elephants outside or the uh, rhinos outside so yeah that's my thinking a very very short um live section of today's episode haven't really been doing too much else in the zoo because as you can uh, imagine that's been taking up a lot of my time but if we do just head over to africa i'm gonna get a little it might get a bit jumpy um there's a lot going on in the zoo now i have been detailing uh, the back lot areas as you can see started getting some stuff in here i've really started to plant it all up i've started to get this fence in because uh, this is basically going to be sort of almost like a perimeter fence now this is the pr proper perimeter fence to the zoo so there's a no you a lot of you're going to think there's a lot of empty space in here but um there, there is empty space in zoos it's as simple as that but i am going to build sort of like an area here where um it's essentially where goods are kept like we've got up here um and um we're going to plant all this up. Uh, I've started doing some really heavy sort of forest area. Remember, we are basing this on Highland Park. It's close to where I live, which is a big wooded forested area. So we are going to be doing a lot of that. I started doing all the fencing, like I say. And I started doing all the planting. And it is sort of getting there. It is coming together. Uh, you know, started the back lot area back here as well. Uh, put, put some construction goods in and things like that so yeah it's it's getting there slowly 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 but look at this when you look at it from a distance it is such a big old vast building but it needs to be because of what it's housing now as a result of the elephants and the rhinos going in here um, I am very much stuck at what to do with this area this was going to be where the orangutans went but I'm really thinking that maybe we should go with a big sort of plaza fountain sort of type thing because obviously the walkway to the elephants is going to be in here and I'm thinking maybe we do like a big sort of plaza area in here. We could do another bathroom uh, over here. Uh, maybe a small sort of uh, food court uh, in here, a bit like the snack shack that we've got. And uh, yeah, make a really lovely sort of plaza -y sort of area. And then this section in here was meant to be the tigers. I'm now considering changing that area to the chimpanzees. They'd be very glo close to the gorillas. And then that sort of ties up the tropical side of Africa as well. Uh, and then we can really sort of like work our way out here with Asia and work all out here with africa that's what i'm thinking i'm hoping that you guys agree i hope you've enjoyed today's episode even though this bit of the speed build bit was a bit jumpy and you haven't really got to see much um this happens from time to time unfortunately but if you have enjoyed it my friends please consider hitting that like button it's really appreciated by your boy I hit the subscribe button if you're new and you want to stick around and hit that bell notification button to never miss another episode but until next time my friends you make sure you stay an extra i'll be back real real soon with this build lovely jubbly done and dusted finished finished just for you until then See you later.